yo in the comment section below let me know what you think of the ninth inning bosses just maybe the ninth inning program in general conquest map other cards in it but specifically let me know your thoughts on the bosses wl do you like some of them all of them none of them which one out of all three if you had to only choose one of them would you get for your team let me know down in that comment section going for 309 or more likes in this video subscribe if y'all are new feel free to follow on any of those social medias if you guys want to use code twin on controlfreak.com the ninth inning bosses are here as y'all can already see on the screen we're gonna be starting off with 99 overall prime hannes wagner shortstop for his primary secondaries he has first second third and left field 116 and 125 for the contact 89 and 90 for the power 118 vision 79 discipline 123 clutch 99 across the board for bunting 90 fielding and arm strength 85 arm accuracy 86 reaction 95 speed 98 stealing and 99 base running aggressiveness this card to me looks insane in the comment section below definitely let me know who y'all are choosing you're going to choose wagner jimmy fox or kenley jansen which one of them if you had to choose one would be your choice and one thing to keep in mind as well all three of these cards will be prestigeable which means you can get a plus three with that prestige card to every single attribute so his power for the prestige card will be 92 and 93 instead of 89 and 90 so definitely a big boost getting that across the board goes for all three of these cards they can be prestiged and i feel like i'm going to choose him especially for the debut for you guys on youtube but out of all the cards i think i want all of them I honestly want all of them, but especially as well, the next card that we have here, and that's going to be 99 overall signature series, Kenley Jansen, closing pitcher, throws righty, obviously, and the pitch mix, his pitch selection is what I love to see from pitchers in this game, a sinker as well as a cutter, but then also a changeup, and then in addition to that, slider and a four seam, just a great mix of pitches, you can mix up speeds, locations, all that good stuff and he looks insane to me i feel like i'm really gonna need this kenley jansen i liked using this card quite a bit last year so i'm excited to get my hands on this one 121 for the hits per nine and i'm pretty sure that's what makes the pci bigger or smaller depending on how high it is versus your uh, your opponents if they're using his own hitting and 121 for his almost maxed down at 125 again with a prestiged version of kenley jansen which you can't do that's going to be 124. Now he also has 125 strikeouts per nine, 91 walks per nine, 85 homers per nine, 125 pitching clutch, 92 control. I love to see that. As hard as it is for me to locate pitches, I love to see that high control above 90, 95 for the prestige version, 99 velo, and 99 break. And I could be, I could be wrong, but I don't think he was born in China. I think that might be a little bit of a mistake, but I could be wrong. Maybe he was, but I don't think he was and that is the second boss we have so it's Hannes Wagner Kenley Jansen and then number three you guys probably already know we have 99 overall Jimmy Fox first base primary but look at his secondaries I bet a lot of people are happy to see that third base and a catcher yes he has a catcher secondary you love to see it i feel like that's a w in itself right there i feel like this program if i'm going to be honest is one of the best all year i love these three bosses having two player programs inclu including jim edmonds having the vita blue in that uh in, in the 150 stars pack i feel like in steve finley too i feel like this is just a really good program one of my favorite of the year just overall i feel like it's a really good program 124 and 125 for the contact that versus righties can be maxed out with the prestige version 116 and 113 power 90 vision 113 discipline 125 clutch his fielding he does have a catcher secondary but silver defense however 72 fielding 75 arm strength 69 arm accuracy 66 reaction 65 speed it's not terrible right it could be worse and i feel like his bat should make up for any misplays or anything like that in the field but definitely a good looking card and i love these three bosses i can't wait to see what you guys think of them down in that comment section normally with programs we only have one player program to start the inning programs this time we have two the first one is hunter pence 96 overall prime version of the card for these you typically have to do some moments for 40 out of 50 points then the last 10 you can do some missions such as beating for him probably the giants on all-star difficulty but we got hunter pence here right field also plays left and center field 
Good contact at 91 and 109. Pretty good power, especially versus lefties at 75 and 106. 83 vision, some good fielding, a really pretty good arm, and then 80 speed out there in the outfield. So not a bad looking card, especially for an essentially free card. Not a bad looking card at all. And then after 100 pence, the second player program we have is a card that I can't wait to get. I really can't wait to use this card. 98 overall signature series, Jim Edmonds, bats lefties, throw lefty, and uh, also center field. A primary left and right field secondaries, 112 and 91 for the contact, 111 and 92 for the power with 77 vision, 95 fielding, 85 arm strength and accuracy, 87 reaction, and 64 speed. I'm excited for this card. I can't wait to put them on my team, try them out. So now that we've gone over the bosses, I just want to go over maybe some of the other stuff that we've already seen for this program. First thing that I wanna go over is the conquest map the new ninth inning conquest map and as y'all can see on the screen it is a helicopter okay we have the athletics pirates cardinals dodgers reds diamondbacks and braves on the map it doesn't look too bad if you guys want to comment some more stuff on this video maybe let me know the packs that you guys want to see most on this conquest map is there a pack that was in the shop that you didn't get an opener you want to open more of any packs that you do just in general want to open more of that you maybe want to see hidden on this map how many packs do you think will be hidden on the map anything like that it doesn't look too bad to me looking at the conquest map i'm personally just not a huge fan of playing versus cpu grinding versus cpu and to me this map doesn't look too bad it looks like it should go pretty fast not a bad amount of strongholds a lot of open space to try and get some fans and it doesn't look terrible and as someone who doesn't really like playing conquest it looks like it should go pretty quick and be pretty easy which i guess is nice now you guys already know that whenever they have a program at 150 stars they always have a three diamond choice pack and the first card that they've shown for this pack is someone that i'm personally pretty excited about 96 overall gold glove steve finley i kind of wish he was a high overall uh, i feel like we've had you know maybe like a 97 or 98 i don't know about 99 but a little bit high overall steve finley cards in the past however this card still looks good he has some good hitting attributes great feeling attributes and some solid speed out there in the outfield obviously he's gonna have good feeling attributes if he is a uh, if he has a gold glove award series card but 91 and 86 for the contact 96 and 103 for the power 91 vision 93 fielding arm strength isn't the best arm accuracy pretty good good reaction which is huge on there in the outfield and then 71 speed so not a bad looking card steve finley for me personally has always had a really good swing so i think he should be good i'm excited to get him to try him out and this next card this next card i think i'm most excited for because i have been struggling 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 to find starting pitching for my team and this is the 150 star pack okay so this card's gonna be cheap he's gonna be easy for me to get which kind of sucks because it means i'm probably gonna face him a lot and do bad against him but we have 97 overall starting pitcher by the blue throws lefty obviously four seam curve change slider and two seam 117 for the stamina 98 hits per nine hundred strikeouts per nine controls at 84 below's at 95 and his break is at 99 so this starting pitcher vita blue card obviously i wish he had a sinker sinker is my go-to pitch it's the pitch i rely on the most by far but still four seam two seam change curve and a slider great pitch arsenal and i do amazing already with the silver vita blue and I feel like that means I should do pretty good with the Diamond Vita Blue. And so far for me, I'm excited for Vita Blue under this pack. Steve Finley, yeah, he's cool as well. But if I could only choose one of those guys, I would definitely be choosing Vita Blue out of them. I can't wait to try out this card, debuting for you guys, and hopefully use them as I probably try to make ranked seasons, get Albert Pujols, uh, try to make World Series in ranked seasons, and try to get the Albert Pujols card from rank this season also in the 150 star choice pack we have this closing pitcher rookie of the year craig kimbrell 97 overall braves flashback another one for the braves huh but uh throws righty obviously four seam knuckle curve and slider you guys know me i prefer having changeups and obviously sinkers and cutters too but when it comes to breaking balls changeups are one of my most used so i wish you had a change up for my sake uh, feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section 123 hits per nine which is really good because if i'm not mistaken 
that hits per nine is what makes it so the PCI is going to be bigger or smaller. The higher a hits per nine is for a pitcher, the smaller the PCI is going to be for the opposing batter if they are using zone hitting. So that's really good to see 123, almost max down to 125. Uh, 125 strikeouts per nine, the clutch pretty good, control 85, which is always good, 94 VLO, pretty fast fastball, and 99 break. Looking at this card, he seems for me like a guy that would go in for one inning, maybe with a couple ounce already in an inning, like two ounce in an inning, I want to bring him in versus a really good hitting right-handed batter. That seems like where I would personally use him. I don't know if he would actually make my bullpen because of that. Because I like my relievers to usually go one inning, two innings maybe. Uh, and I just I couldn't really see Craig Kimbrell doing that for me. Just not for me, a pitch selection I like. But I'm curious what y'all think about him. But definitely for 150 stars, probably going to be about 5,000 stubs. Doesn't look bad. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely can't wait to hear your thoughts on the ninth inning program. The boss is just everything down in that comment section. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe all that good stuff. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.